hey guys in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a climb system so let's go to the asset store uh, asset store search for Invector climb here it is our third person free climb add-on let's hit import and now it's a important part we already have the Invector project here is a complete project with tags a project settings quality settings input manager etc all we have all we need it's here so we don't absolutely do not need another project settings otherwise it will override all right so let's uncheck and import just the free climb stuff here let's hit import and wait for the package to import now uh, here we have free climb add-on this tutorial I'm going to show you exactly uh, the process to to add a climb into a character so I will not be cutting any footage and neither fast forward it will be exactly as it is okay now I have a custom character here in night prefab made my 3D Mason. Uh, let's use them. So let's create here a base locomotion, drag our prefab, and use the basic and basic. Okay. Uh, let's delete the prefab. We don't need it in, anymore. Let's uncheck this just to, to test it if. Uh, our scene is working of course it it will not be working as it is because we need to set up the animations um, here we have a animator that it comes with the free climb you can see that we have here actions and free climb now uh, we don't have any animations here because we're using Mixamo's animations. So let's go to animation folder and there is a read reading. <coughs> let's open it here. And about miss animations. This add-on doesn't come with animations, but don't worry. We pre prepare a Mixamo's package already set up and ready to use. You can download and extract the folder vclimb inside the animations folder. So Let's go here to download our animations. Great, I've downloaded. Great, now that I've downloaded the animations, let's extract inside the animations folder. Let's take a look here, animations folder, show it in Xplotter animations inside the animations folder drag and drop the vbot climb you need to make sure that the fbx.meta files are here because this those are very important those are the all the information of the animations the cutting and etc if you don't have this um, you will need to go to um, I'm not sure where it, where it is. View hidden items. Yes, you need to check the hidden items in order to to see those. Okay. Once you have it, close this. Close this. Unit will import the animations. Now that's the tricky part. Sometimes unit will not update them into the actual. Uh, slots here of the motions so let's take a look if it's working it's, for, it's the first play so it takes a while let's see yep it's working good now if you jump and the character is not working correctly the animation is not playing just exit your Unity editor and open up again. This will fix all the information and updates the animations. Okay, 
Great. Now that we successfully imported the animations, we need to transfer this information for our new character. So let's take here, copy this uh, substate machine and select here our new character. Select the controller that we are using. In this case, it's the default. It's good to always create a backup for your new character. So if you mess up this controller, you still have the original. So let's go here. We are on V4 and paste the free climb. Let's create a exit transition here. And all right, now we need to copy the free climb component. Let's copy this one, paste it around here, paste component as new. Okay, you can see here that we have a hand target that is located under the the another character. So let's duplicate that and paste here. Let me see where it is. Kind of one point five here and zero four. Zero four here and zero here. Great. Now let's assign the new climb hand target that it, it is on my new character. Disable the old character. Uh, let's see what else. Verbal tags. It's all pretty much set up. Let's take a look at the port. Yep, it works. Okay, now jump, climb works pretty much all right well that's it that's how you set up the climbing add-on into a custom character no mystery at all oh just fail my climb here but yeah that's how you set up the climbing add-on hopefully this helps you and Leave it a question, leave it a comment if you have any, uh, any questions. Alright, see you guys on the next tutorial.